I mean, that's brilliant. I mean, there's a lot to talk about. So I, I heard you, you you had an interview with uh, Nahomsek, and I'll link yeah, that below. Ben. Great, gr yeah. great, great interview with Ben. And Thank you. you mentioned something which I really like. Can you define hacking? Because you, you kind of used this term that I really liked. So yeah, what would you define so as hacking? So that's a great question, David. And uh, I, I mean, I've seen so many definitions of hacking yep. and my definition for those, of, oh, I think there's some people that will disagree and want to key my car over this. But, you know, to me, hacking is nothing more than just sending stimulus to an, app an, an application that the developer didn't anticipate and then, you know, sending a response to that stimulus. So, you know, it's 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 trying to take things apart and figure out how something works and then sending a stimulus that the developer didn't expect. You know, that's to me what hacking is. It's it's just trying to figure out how something works. I, I start on a new vulnerability research project, like, for example, the hacking 55 banks and cryptocurrency exchanges through their APIs. I didn't know even how to spell API. I, you know, a lot of people <laughs> think that hackers come out of the womb knowing this stuff, but we really don't. We do research and learn just like you do. I, I had to go out there and research the history of APIs. Um, why do hackers freak out when they see JSON, you know, yeah. responses and move on to the next target? Um, you know, what is JSON? And so I, you know, there was a lot of learning in that experience. Uh, where you're just kind of tinkering. And one of the things that, you know, I would urge all of you to do for those of you who are red teamers in the audience and, and ethical hackers is, you know, don't be so rigid and static about your hacking, your tactics and techniques when you act like, I need to follow the penetration testing execution standard and start out with intelligence collection and move on to reconnaissance. It's not that rigid. Like, yeah. be more creative and... First and foremost, figure out how it works, right? So you showed me, you, you showed the my my first book, I'm Hacking Connected Cars. And I actually wrote a majority of that in Germany when I was living there, working for some of the largest car makers and uh, tier one OEMs and hacking their fleets of commercial vehicles. And I'm sorry, their fleets of connected vehicles. And one of the things that I learned in that process was I have no idea what an electronic control unit is. I have no idea what a telematics control unit is, I, but I'm going to learn. Yeah. And so I, I, I was fortunate enough to have a client that literally, and he's my friend to this day, sat, just locked me in a room and whiteboarded with me and taught me vehicular mechatronics and, you know, all of these other different concepts of in vehicle networking and v2v and and just taught me how it works you can't hack something when you don't know how it's supposed to work under normal operation all hacking is is just trying to figure out what the developer didn't expect to receive that's all hacking is and so yeah so that's my definition of hacking that was long-winded but that's no, i love it i love it because i mean it was I, I love this that you're sending stimulus it's something that the developer didn't think about or didn't expect and then you yeah get, stimulus and response it's like you know if i've got this this api right and let's say it's a public public and documented api it's got a, you know open api specification swagger and and i want people to write for it but that swagger file or that open api file says you can only send this api request and this api request Right, so it's documented when you're writing a mobile app or something for my API. That's all you can send. But uh, in the back end, the API actually supports a hundred different request types, and the documentation, the Swagger file only says it only supports two. Hacking is sending the other ninety-eight API attempts and requests to see if it's if it's supported. You know, that's really to me all hacking is. Is it's it's yeah, it's this is the documented functionality of this. This is the way it's supposed to work. But let's see if it supports things that aren't documented. Let's see if it supports things that you're not telling me it doesn't support. Trust and verify.